Hi, thank you for joining us this evening. My pleasure. So you've been at the conference uh, all day today, and how do you think about how it went, the 11th conference of the INSS? I think it went great. I think this conference is indicating uh, the very high level of uh, participants, the intervention was extremely interesting, the broad spectrum of issues dealt with, uh, and uh, sometimes polarizing ideas and views. I think it does uh, give a lot of uh, food for thought to everyone. And when we talk about those polarizing issues, there's a lot of topics that were covered uh, today and yesterday at the yeah. conference. And one of them was a growing uh, rift between Israel and the Palestinians. What can you what can you comment on that? Well, I think it's there's a, I mean, we just now listening to a debate uh, between a member of the Knesset uh, from different parties, and you can see how divided they are on uh, the future of Israel and, uh, uh, of course, the implications of the solutions vis-à-vis -vis the Palestinians will have on the identity of Israel. I think this is a topic I've been uh, going, uh, we've, we've seen them throughout the conference. It's clearly something that uh, is of great importance for the Israeli. I think it's right. I think it's important there's a discussion. And this type of conference will help perhaps to come uh, with better ideas on how to deal uh, with, uh, with the future. I heard uh, many people uh, invoking a two-state solution, which is what we think is the only viable solution to so resolve the conflict. And I hope that this type of ideas will, uh, will make their way through. And I think they remain um, a majority in Israel at the moment. And another topic that was mentioned very often on, in, during the conference is Iran and the threat that Iran not poses only to Israel but the entire world. Um, and the, the EU has been, has been working tirelessly uh, along with the United States and along with the entire international community really to try to stop Iran uh, from their nuclear program. But there's other parts of the deal which Israel and the US think is, is not enough. Uh, especially their ballistic missile program. Can you can you touch on that a little bit? Yeah, I think uh, the uh, Iran issue is perhaps one that polarized less the debate. I think everyone agrees that uh, it's an issue that uh, caused concern, and particularly in Israel, people I think there's a, across the spectrum there is a, a I think a, a sharing this concern. Uh, the question is how to address uh, uh, the issue. And in Europe, we feel uh, that uh, the, the deal that has been reached with Iran is uh, the best thing that we can do in order to make sure that uh, the Iranian program is, uh, uh, is, a, is, a, is a peaceful program, uh, it's not uh, a, a military program, which I think is, a, is an objective we share with Israel. Uh, and we think that the, the regime of verification which has been put in place is very strong, is the strongest actually ever uh, put in place, and has been verified already nine times by the International Atomic uh, Energy Agency. Uh, there are other issues that uh, are of concerns for Israel and for others as well, uh, from uh, the issue of uh, the, the presence in the region and the stabilization and the need to create a better stability, the issue of the ballistic missiles. And these are questions that, of course, uh, uh, are important. Uh, and if we find the right format and the right forum to discuss them, of course, it's something that uh, uh, we are ready to discuss. The question is, to avoid to uh, undermine what we have at the moment, which is the JCPOA, which provides some uh, guarantees, important guarantees, without having anything else to replace it. Thank you so much. My pleasure.